Hello, and let's go over the Luo Sweeper material function. It's quite simple. It basically adds some kind of weird anime-ish sweep. You can play around with the 0 to 1 time. Basically, you can add a time with a period of 1. So it only goes from left to right. Uh, come on, there. Starts over again. You can use the dynamic parameter. You can control the blueprint, cascade, Niagara, whatever you want. Let's go back. So, okay, there's the sweep hardness. I don't know how hard you want the sweep to be. Generally, out of 5, it already gives you a nice edge, but this gives a little bit more blur, as you can see. And at 1, it's quite sharp. Let's lower it a little bit. There. Now, let's go over the sweep sharpness. At 0, it's quite blurry. At 1, it's Almost a mask, which also gives some quite nice result. Now the sweep modifier is basically to change the sweep effect. You can also use noise texture for this. I'm going to show those later. So at one, it looks a bit more like this. At ten, it already starts to look a bit more like a sweep. And at one hundred, it's a very thin line that just goes wing, wing, wing. There's the sweep width. Let me just set it to zero. Uh, actually, auto 1 this should be the starting value, and now it's a very tiny edge that's going on. And at 1, it's the normal, uh, auto 5, I think, it's a normal size. You can play around with it a little bit, generally, don't really need it, but it can give some fun results. Okay, now the rotation degrees kind of speaks for itself. If I want to rotate this, like say 45 degrees, I can just write 45, and now it's up and down. If I want to rotate it at 90 degrees, well, yeah, let's do 90. There we go. All right. You can also change the rotation center. At the moment, it's at 0 0.5, of course. And it should generally be at around out of 5, unless you get some weird results. But you can try and play around with it until you, if you find something that looks a little bit more different. Again, there's the UVs, of course. Uh, you can change, change the UV channel, or if you have a distortion material function or something else, you can get some weird effects around the edges, but generally it's only to change the UV channel. <laughs> Well, that's basically it. You can play around with some other things. Like, let me grab a noise texture. I need to find them real quick. There we go. Let me pick this one. All right. There. Now, if I plug this into the sweep modifier, you get something like this. And you can play around with it quite a bit. You can also just plug it into the hardness. I got something like that. So you don't need to only use scalar values. You can try quite a lot of things. Not all of them look great, of course, but in some cases it might actually give you some cool, weird results. So definitely play around with that. Obviously this won't work. So if you added a time to that as well, so a time, a period of one, and add that to this, it will get some weird results. There. Additionally, let's just get a texture coordinate node. Hold down U, left mouse click, a component mask, and only grab the red channel, if I'm correct. Let's do the green channel instead. And multiply that with the time. I can't guarantee it looks good, but we can see. You get something like this. If I set the time to 2. So just know that you don't always have to play around with just scalar values. You can always use gradients or offsets or that kind of thing. Who knows what will happen. Alright, that's it for the little sweeper. Take care.